Uh, the coral reefs of Mesoamerican coral reef, it uh, involves four countries, that it is uh, Honduras, Guatemala, Belize, and Mexico. 40% of that battery reef, the Mesoamerican battery reef, is in Mexico. We are unique because our reefs are the most visited of all the ones in the, in the Mesoamerican battery reef, and because of that is how our economy moves. My name is Germán Méndez, and I am the president of the nonprofit called Cozumel Coral Reef Restoration Program. I am a veterinarian. I went to school in Mexico City. And when I came here, uh, I put a tank on my back. I learned how to scuba dive, and I never went back to the city. It was protected since 1980, but then when they did the park, they moved the, the protection five miles more to the south, and we were against the construction of those docks. But they said that I was a veterinarian, that I didn't know anything about corals. I specialize in corals. I went to Florida because it was the place where you would have a lot of schools that they would be working with coral reefs at the same time. I was able to see what is happening in the different parts of the world. I was able to go to Jamaica, uh, to Puerto Rico, and then I dove in Florida, and then I came back to Cozumel. And then I saw that everywhere is almost the same thing that is happening, that they were losing the corals because obviously that the, the growth of uh, development is not contemplated in trying to preserve that, but in to make an income. The first thing is to go and clean the corals. We go to the platform where we have the big concentration of corals because we have to be taking out all the algae that they can be hurting them. And then from there we go to the restoration areas. We have about 50 square meters where we have been planting corals and we see how they are doing. We started with one coral. Now we have almost 610. So that's an achievement. We can do more. We want 300 meters now of restoration of reef, precisely in the areas where it's more used. This university, they do not have a subject of marine biology. And I would like that this university to be able to do that. That they can be able to have that program and that we can prepare marine biologists here in Cozumel. So we're going to be pioneering on that. So from the little farm where we put the corals about two or three years in the Pacific. But it doesn't feel like work, so I guess it's just fun. It's, it's still diving, it's just adding another little element to your dive. And I, I'm not somebody who ever really cared too much to go swimming in the water and stuff. And I am out here diving and I just love it. It's been rewarding in that regard. That's what diving's about, is you know, giving back to the ocean something. And then to see the progress of the coral over the time, from one vacation to the next. That's what motivates me to come down here. They have a, a sense of belonging, a sense that they put a little grain of sand to try to make that reef better. And when they come, they are more careful. Hey, don't break the coral. You may be breaking my coral, you know? So that's what we're trying to get.
Now we're making that new culture, the new kind of diving. I cannot go and defend everything, but I have to start in my backyard. And if I start in my backyard, maybe I can make an example, and other people want to do it in the backyard too. So let's not love the reef to death and learn about it. And in that way, we can have this for my grandchildren and the children of their children to be able to live up the same. A local diving center in Cozumel has published a list of ocean-friendly tips for tourists who want to help preserve the reef. Among them, be observant when purchasing souvenirs. Sometimes what you're buying could be illegal. They also suggest making sustainable choices when ordering seafood at restaurants. We'd love to have your input, so if you know someone who's helping change the world, drop us a line at an at cgtnamerica.com or tweet us at cgtnamerica and tell us about a game changer you would like to see on the show. America's Now.